you think about the current state of the offensive depth? Uh, pretty good. We're, uh, we're subbing a lot. We have a lot of fresh legs out there all the time. Uh, good too deep for the line, I feel like. Uh, we're just really uh, in depth for our team, I feel like, and we're, uh, we can work with that a lot. The way Curtis played today, is that pretty much the way you, you, what you've seen from him all camp? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think there's some plays that he'll want back, obviously. I think he'll tell you all that also. But uh, I fully uh, have a lot of faith in him, and he did a really good job today. Uh, just operating for a first game and getting used to a new system, for sure. I, I want to say he's QB 4 or 5. You caught passes from, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I caught a lot from many. But, I mean, he's doing really good. Uh, I feel comfortable with him, and uh, I have my full trust in him. And I believe in his offense, too. Is there anything unique about him off the field, maybe? Very smart and very respectful. Uh, that's a quarterback that I feel like a lot of people want to play for. Uh, he's a really hard worker, and he's constantly trying to get better and fix everything that he wants. What did you think about the game today as far as the atmosphere? and what the, the, You know, I know you're, you're playing out there and you can't think a lot, but what, what was going through your mind when you saw it, the stuff that took place before the game and after the game and during the game? Uh, I'd say it was a lot. Um, I mean, I, when I first got here, the state was packed. That's that something new. So uh, I really liked how uh, the fans showed out. and. Uh, it's just a lot to get used to. Um, hopefully we can uh, keep it where the fans can stay and uh, keep them in the seats, you know. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll like that a lot. But I mean, it's something new to get used to. And uh, I feel real excited for this upcoming season. What was that feeling like for you scoring a touchdown in that environment? <laughs> I was pretty sick. It was, it was, I kind of lost the moment. And then uh, <laughs> went back to the sidelines. and thought, this is another play coming. So I had to lock back in really fast. But it was a... Uh, I was really nice play, good play call, and uh, it's just the stands. I felt like it's erupted, and I was just excited to be with the team and uh, my teammates. When you get off to such a bad start, how did that affect you? Yeah, I feel like sometimes we get up like that, uh, you can get pretty comfortable, and uh, you start to lose sight of what's going on. Uh, you start going through the motions when you get comfortable. Um, you gotta stay on comfy in situations like that, and uh, just find a way to keep working and. Uh, Really uh, put together drives and finish the game out like that we want to. With uh, with as few shots down the field as we saw in the second half, do you feel like from a play calling standpoint, from what you guys put in, do you feel like there's still a lot that you didn't show that you can you can use later on? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we got a pretty deep uh, playbook, I would say. Um, also, we didn't show everything, but. Uh, uh, we took our shots when I felt like we needed to, and um, we do have a lot, I would say, and we just, we're just we doing really good in the run game, so we just might as well keep pounding the ball, just keep doing what we're doing the best at right now. Blocking-wise, what do you feel like was working today, what do you feel like wasn't? Um, I feel like a lot of the run plays were working really well. Um, we got about, I mean, how many yards rushing by around 200, uh, so I feel like uh, we're just picking out what we want and just seeing what they're doing is adjusting to it and keep picking them apart. So that's what I like about doing that. Just having a team with so many transfers, do you feel like this was a big step with you guys just like kind of coming together and you know like building that chemistry? Yeah, it was a huge step. Uh, it took, uh, we knew it was going to be hard because everybody got to get used to a new system. We got uh, how many people left and how many people coming in. So we knew it was going to take a while for uh, everything to click, but I'm really uh, excited for how people learn to play book so fast and how willing they were to work on what they need to work on. and. Uh, asking questions when they need to ask. So I feel like they uh, learned to play book very fast and but we clicked um, early, more early on than I expected. How would you describe Rourke's kind of personality like in the huddle, his like leadership qualities, things like that? Cool, calm, collected, always. No matter what the situation is, the steady hand, leadership is what I say, and he, he's doing it pretty well. So uh, he's a really good, calm quarterback, and he knows uh, situations really well. Zach, eight touchdowns last season. What did you really work on in the offseason to improve despite having such a great season? Uh, just everything, little things. Find a little things, little details to make it better. I uh, was working on that. Uh, Coach Nettie said you guys are uh, you know, still growing, learning how to play with the lead and, and you know, really put it on another team. Um, is there anything you can kind of say in the huddles or to, to keep these guys, you know, just keep going forward? I just, I just tell them next play's coming, forget the pass, uh, forget the uh, negative plays, and sometimes forget the positive plays. You got to keep working. Uh, don't let the positive days, positive plays keep you up too high because uh, you could be on the cloud nine and just like that. You could uh, have a false start or a penalty set you back five sticks. So you got to keep being your shoes where you are. Take two more. What was, uh, I guess, Coach Signati's kind of message to you guys after the game? Like, what do you liked when, what do you think you guys can keep working He's on? Same thing I said, uh, it's a, it was a good win. Everybody, it was really good for uh, the university, good win to see that. But uh, there's still a lot of little things to fix, a lot of uh, small details that we need to clean up. What's something you think uh, the offense is going to work on uh, preparing for Western Illinois on Friday? 
uh, just know some self-inflicted wounds. I mean, uh, so many times we play behind the sticks, like I just mentioned, but uh, we can't be doing that. Ball teams can't win like that in situations like that, playing behind the sticks. So just really paying attention to the small details once again and just uh, not allowing the self-inflicted wounds. Awesome. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it.